All right, this is a really quick video about taking a piezoelectric transducer and making power. So here's the transducer. I have the outputs attached to the AC input of a full wave bridge rectifier, which is just four silicon diodes in this formation. And then this would be the negative attachment, which goes to one side of the electrolytic capacitor and then the positive attaches to the positive of the electrolytic capacitor. I'm using a 22 microfarad capacitor just to save time. So, I built this little circuit. Here's the piezoelectric element or transducer and this is the full wave bridge rectifier and then here is the electrolytic capacitor. So, what I'm going to do is put this inside my boot under my insole so when I step down on it, force is applied and then released. So a small voltage will appear throughout here and then start charging up the capacitor. Alright, so here we are at step zero at zero volts. Now I'm going to walk around a bit and measure the voltage again. So after 57 steps, I am at 21.3 volts. Now let's do some calculations. Alright, so here are some calculations. Sorry, John. Alright, so... Here's the formula to calculate energy from a capacitor. So you take the voltage, you square it, you multiply it by the capacitance, and then you multiply it by 1 over 2, so 0.5. Anyway, so all that and the end result of the charge of the capacitor was 5.28 millijoules. So that's very little energy. And I did the calculation assuming each step generated the same amount of energy. Uh, that came to being... 92.5 microjoules per step. So that is a very, very, very small amount of energy. And just to give you an idea of scale, my cell phone battery holds 4.7 watt hours, which is the equivalent of 1692 kilojoules. So kilojoules is thousand joules, so this would be 16,920 joules. Meanwhile, this is over here <coughs> at 0 0.0000 zero zero nine two five joules. So, just for fun, let's see how many steps it would take to charge a cell phone battery. So in order to charge the cell phone battery to its maximum storage capacity, you would need to take 182 million steps. Now, I don't know how many steps you take per day, but I think that exceeds it quite a bit. So, yeah, kind of gives you an idea of how practical this kind of energy is to do anything. Now, I was able to flash an LED using it, so that's pretty cool. You could light up your shoes or something like that so you don't get hit by traffic at night or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, hope this answered your questions, 117 con.